In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to, do, to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the end. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that, in great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men, whom his favor rests. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, where is the one who has been born the king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. Jesus was a king for all people, and one day every knee will bow down before him. After, after they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold 
and of incense and of myrrh. All of this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means 